What's up, everybody? This is your boy, Nose215. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Killer Kicks. Today is the last day of the summertime. So for the last day of the summertime, I'm going to wear these cool glasses. Tomorrow is going to be fall. Fall is upon us. So um, yeah, man, today is the last day of the summertime. So why not? Why not do this review with glasses? I could do this review with glasses because you know what? This is my channel. I do what I want. So today I'm going to do this review with these glasses on. Also, this week here in Philly is Pope Week. The Pope will be here on Friday to bless the people. So I figured that today I'm gonna bless y'all with two reviews in one. So let's get to the first review. Um, I recently picked up a pair of Vans, uh, dub taps, double taps, W taps. Um, I don't wanna mispronounce, I don't wanna offend anybody. So uh, yeah. Uh, double taps okay this is a collaboration that they did with vans and uh uh double taps man like they've been around for a while man uh, i actually remind uh remember them from the collaboration that they did with supreme a couple years back i would like to see a new collaboration but beggars can't be choosers so you know till then we'll just have to wait um but yeah man i mean very dope brand. Um, I was reading, you know, uh, the collaboration that they did with the Vans had came out in the blogs and I saw the pictures. I'm like, damn, man, like this, you know, these colors and the way that the actual shoe looks, looks very dope. So for the low tops, uh, three colorways, black, burgundy, and uh, navy. If I'm not mistaken, I think that the sole is black. And then the high top one is an all black one. And then you have a black and like a charcoal gray. Um, so, um, very dope vans um uh, my opinion like i really don't have a big knowledge as far as vans what are they called i know there's like skate highs and then there's the low tops and then there's classics and so like me personally i'm be honest i hate vans i hate how vans feel on my feet but i love how they look on other people's feet it's a weird thing i don't know what it is like I like how people rock them. There's certain people that wear them like very well and they could persuade you into buying a pair of Vans. But it's like every time I put it on my feet, I'm like, oh man, like these shits hurt. Like I don't even know how people skate in them, yo, because it's just it's just so flat. Um as far as sizing goes, um I am, as everybody knows, eight and a half to a nine. Um I tried an eight and a half to it wasn't too tight, but because it's a flat shoe, I needed a little bit of more room, so I end up getting a size nine. So um, I got the size nine. Um, very easy shoe to get, man. They came out the same day that the OVOs came out, so obviously nobody paid attention to them. Uh, I think the only people that paid attention to these vans are the people that couldn't get the OVOs, or maybe people that just are truly a fan of vans, you know. Um, so it was pretty easy to get here in Philly. Um, I was kind of upset that I didn't have, I guess, enough funds to get the other two colors, which was uh, burgundy and navy. Those were the other two colors that I wanted. But uh, as far as for me, I went with uh, both black shoes because I just like how they look. Um, you know, in person, they look extremely nice, uh, nice quality, nice material. Uh, just the presentation is dope. Uh, so like I say, I mean, I'm really not a big fan of Vans. I mean, I do like how they look on other people's feet, but I think this was a must have just to just have on my collection. Even if I didn't, you know, even if I wear it here and there, then, you know, it's, you know, it's my preference. You know, it makes me happy that I have it, that I could say that I have it. Later on, I don't have to spend, uh, eBay prices right now are $180.00. Box prices was, uh, I'm, I, if I'm not mistaken, it was like $75 for the lows and $85 for the highs. So, I mean, you know, you rather pay $75 or you rather pay $180. I don't know. You do the math on that. So, uh, yeah. So, let's get into this one first and then I'm going to get into my second pickup. So, let's get into this one. Let's get into the box. Uh, this is a size 9. Turn it around. This is very dope, man. Uh, canvas shoes for the entire family. I like that. And then turn the shoe to the other side. 
and it says custom made for double taps. And yeah, um, I t I like what they did with the box, man. Very, you know, old schoolish, real, real nice. Um, so uh, let's get into this, man. Uh, very nice shoe, in my opinion. Um, suede has that uh, faded look, and that's what I actually liked about this shoe the most. It's just that faded. Uh, look that it has on the suede um, on the tag right here you would normally have vans but you have uh, the double taps and then turn it around it says vans on the other side um, so I actually like that that's one small hint that I actually do like about it um, but the whole shoe consists of a suede um, you have this black sole black uh, waffle sole in the bottom Turn the shoe around, even the tab. I know with the tab usually isn't red, but even the tab isn't black. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, you have off the wall that, you know, that classic uh, tag in the back. And then, yeah, I mean, nothing too crazy about it. The little, uh, uh, the swivel here is like a, you know, is a leather material, but you really can't tell the difference with the leather. Uh, the inside of it has this like pig's uh, pig skin suede and then uh, right on the on the heel part of it uh, you see how it says um, Vans original um, so only like in the heel part of it um, it's like a um, it's real soft leather but as you go deep inside it um, it's made from uh, this canvas material so I mean pretty dope um, as far as the tongue as you can see that's what the tongue looks like very dope um, yeah, so I mean, nice shoe. Uh, my only dislike about this van is that also uh, in the summertime, I don't wear socks. And it's weird because I don't wear socks and my feet never stinks. Um, this is what my wife tells me all the time. And uh, even like people who I've sold like shoes to, they're like, y'all like these shoes smell like, what do you do to these shoes? I'm like, I don't do anything. So I don't know. Um, so I don't wear socks in the summertime. So when I wore these, my only dislike about it is that there's like no hook that goes across for the shoelace. So the tongue like goes over to the side. Like I was wearing it one day and you could literally see like my whole foot was like this because the tongue was just like to the side. So um, the tongue is like real flimsy. Like there's no, you know, there's nothing stable about it. Um, but besides that, I mean, it looks dope. It doesn't feel comfortable at all. If, um, if you're wondering, um, at least to me, it doesn't, but it looks cool on foot. So that's good enough for me. So let's get into the high top. Um, yeah, man. So let's get into the shoe, man. To be honest, like this shoe actually has more going on in low tops. Uh, so you have this nice, uh, soft suede that goes from the tongue, from the tip of the tongue, all the way in the bottom. As you can see here, the, um, the lining is gold, so it's black and gold, so they kind of switch that up a little bit, which is cool. Turn the shoe around, man, and the shoe has this very soft suede that looks like a leather, but it's not leather. Um, and it has like that croc, uh, that croc look. Uh, very, very, very dope, man. Um, I like this one most than all of them, to be honest. I'm like, if I can't, if I could get any one, it would have to be this one right here because it's just the detail on this is, so dope um turn the shoe around on this one they have the red tab on it so uh you have the off the wall on both of them you have the suede uh tab that goes all the way up uh turn the shoe around the same way bottom you have that gum waffle uh extremely nice shoe man the inside you have that pig uh that pigskin leather on the inside of the shoe and the same thing goes for uh, the heel tab. So on the heel tab, let me clear this up a little bit. On the heel tab, um, it's it's that pigskin uh, leather and then towards the middle, um, it goes into that canvas material. So these were the pickups that, uh, that I did for Vans. Um, I wore these, I really haven't broke the high tops yet i'm gonna probably take my time with these uh because my foot can't really stand this uh all the time so 
uh, probably won't break these out to the summertime. But to my understanding, these are kind of getting a little bit hard to get. Um, you know, things in the beginning are always easy, but once people catch a whim of it, they actually become kind of hard to get. Um, so, but this one right here is a must. I even like to touch with the, um, with their, I'm going to just call this a swoosh. I don't know what, what to call this, but instead of it being leather, it's that suede material. So yeah, man, I mean, the shoe looks dope. Uh, my only dislike is that it only came with one set of laces, which is black. Um, I wish that they would have came like with maybe like white or gold. That would have been dope. Um, maybe like gold laces for this to match the tab and then white laces uh, to match the tag. But I mean, what can we say? I'm not a shoe. Um, I don't make shoes. So I mean, I can only wish. Uh, but yeah, man. So that was this. And let's get into the other shoe that I'm going that I'm going to get ready to present to you. So let's get into the second part of this review. And my other latest pickup I was able to pick up is a Nike Trainer One Mid Fragments. And um, it's crazy. Uh, fragments. Everybody, you know, everybody knows about fragments because of the Jordans. And it's like this man has been knee deep doing collaborations with Nike for years, for years, for years, for years, man. Like, uh, the guy has done so much stuff, man. He not only, he kind of reminds me of like a Ronnie Fogg that he, uh, like he doesn't only, um, dedicate himself to like the shoe culture, but he's also into like just collaboration with just like products, you know, whether it be headphones, you know, whether it be a belt, it, it could be whatever, you know, like he has his hand on a lot of stuff, man. So, um. Yeah, I mean, it's just a shame that just people just, you know, as soon as he did that collaboration with Jordan, it was just like, oh, man, Fragment Jordan, Fragment Jordan, Fragment Jordan. But nobody knows about all the other stuff, man. Like one of my favorite collabs that he did with Nike was uh, the low top Air Force One, that croc, uh, that croc color, man. Like that is one of my favorite pair of uh, Air Force Ones. And that was one of my favorite collabs that he did with Nike. So, um you know, a lot of people is just, I don't know, they're, they're just, the resale game, we, we all know how that goes, you know. So uh, recently, um, uh, Hiroshi was able to do a collaboration with uh, the Nike trainers, and they kicked off a couple colors, man. Um, I think two of them was, it appeared like it was only available for uh, Nike Lab, which was the black and the red pair, but then they were all available online and they're all still sitting online. So if you like what you see here, by any means, go on Nike.com and just purchase yourself a pair or go to Nike Lab because they're sitting, you know, and that's just to show you the hype. You know, uh, if this was a Jordan, then people will go crazy for it. But because it's a trainer, it's, uh, you know, I can't, I can't resell this. It was funny. People were still going and buying these shoes to try to resell for two fifty, and they're still sitting online. And now, if you go on eBay, people are are forced to sell below retail, which was retail box on this uh, box price on this was one fifty. I've seen people sell for one twenty, one eleven. Uh, so you know, it's just one of those things that you have to. If you truly like it, then you buy it. If you don't, if you're going to try to buy it to like flip it, then I wouldn't do that. Um, but the shoe was dope. Uh, the color that I picked was navy blue, navy baby. You know, um, I love navy blue. So uh, that was definitely the color that I went with. Um, there's not much to talk about the shoe. So let's get into the review with this shoe. I hope that you enjoy this one. Let's get a closer look into the shoe, y'all. All right, so let's get into the box. Nothing crazy about it. Uh, you have a uh, Air Trainer One Mid um, SP slash Fragment. Color code on this is Obsidian. Obsidian White, size eight and a half. As far as sizing, I regret not getting a size nine. Size eight and a half does fit me a little bit snug because of the strap. So if I was you, I'd just go half a size up. And let's get into the shoes. So as you can see, I put one white lace for you to kind of see what they look like with the extra white lace. And then I have the navy one. So um, 
uh, the whole shoe it's navy blue uh, very good leather not the best leather but uh, it is a very good leather uh, so you have this blue um, blue toe box with your Nike strap that goes um, across it your upper is this very soft uh, leather on the tongue um, they do come with blue laces as far as the stock but I put the white one just to give you an idea what they look like with white turn the shoe around same thing you have that all navy color um, right here on the side you have that fragment symbol that we all know about turn the shoe around you have a uh, uh, your stitching and navy uh, Nike Air and same thing goes for the other side and you see that nice fragment symbol um, like I said, nothing crazy. The one thing that I did like is uh, these little uh, extra tags that they come with. So it comes with a gold one. Um, got the fragment symbol on the side. And then uh, comes with white, red, and navy laces. And then it comes with this extra um, Nike little chain right here. Definitely dope, man. Um, inside of the shoe, I'm trying to get this. I'm going to try to get this as much as I can. Um, it says about the detail property of Nike. Um, kind of funny that they said that because the detail on this is horrible. Uh, let me zoom in. You could kind of see the how the glue just sticks up from the top of this um, this sole right here, this little pod right here. Uh, typical Nike stuff, man. Just you could kind of see the glue. Um, on some parts, even right here, you kind of see the glue a little bit like right there. Uh, but besides that, I mean, I like the shoe. Definitely a dope shoe. Um, inside, you have like that nice, that tennis old school type of look with, the, um, with your Nike swoosh. And you have your fragment symbol. Yeah, so I mean, these were... My pickups, man, let's just put all this stuff right here, you know, side by side. Um, yeah, man, so let me know how you like this. I hope, man, that you enjoyed this review. Um, please feel free to download my free app, Killer Kicks. It is available for iPhone and Android. Uh, let me know how you like this uh, pickup. Let me know which one is your favorite. Uh, let's talk. Please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please feel free to hit the like button or hit the dislike button. Let me know what I said wrong as usual. Um, and yeah, man, I hope that y'all enjoyed this. Till next time, everybody. Peace out, son. 216 to the 213. That's what I call 21 Jump Street. Never jump shit, though. That shit weak. Same cool, same boat. Motherfucker don't sink. I'm saying. Long nights. Contemplating. Stop the shaking. I'm taking my life.